Oh, hello gamers, and welcome back to Satisfactory Saturday as we play through the game. In this episode, we finally find out how to decorate and repaint our structures. So we do a bit of remodeling. We finally finished the space elevator task. So we now have unlocked new tasks we can do in the hub. With that, we instantly unlock the ability to extract oil from the ground. Extracting oil from the ground, extracting the freedom from the ground. We build a small refinery. Annoyingly, the refinery is too powerful and we need to now build more power generators. That's fine. That's the next episode's issue. So without further ado, let's jump on in. And we are back in Saz Factory Saturday. Here we are. This glorious, glorious movement of automated wires. Then we'll have in a second the... Well, the rest of them, really. We're going to be pumping everything into the space elevator. So we can move on to the next age for the next load of uh, technology. I did look at some doing some quartz, but I realised, you know what? We don't need any quartz at the moment, so we're not going to bother um, until we have a use for quartz for other um, things. We're not going to we're not going to level it up. Uh, we're not going to level up. We're not going to incorporate into our factory. Uh, I've never used this customizer before. Okay. That's pretty cool. You can just look at things and change them. I like that. That's pretty cool. Well, you're going to paint everything now. Now I've started, I'm not going to stop. Yeah, we're just waiting for this to fill up. Uh, sorry, we absolutely got zoned out by painting things with this tool. Um, this is now probably the best thing I've got. I like this. I like this a lot. I didn't know you could do this. So I'm just going to look at some colours and then paint everything at some point. I can even paint the tubes. Oh, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to probably revamp the look of my entire place now. And now I know I can do this. Uh, so we've got the last bits going into the... Wow, that's cool. So that's the last bit's going into the space elevator now. Sorry, this is a terrible start. I'm just running around painting things. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll jump back in once we finish. Oh, look how cool this is. Now I'm going to finish painting all of this walkway. And once that's done, we're going to paint the roof there on my right hand side. Boop, there we go. How good does the roof look painted? Oh, that's pretty cool. Nah, okay, that looks cool. So, we're going to wait for this to finish filling up the space elevator. Then we'll jump straight back in. So, this will be it. I did a uh, bit of recolouring. So, all my structures are looking red. My buildings are looking a bit red, uh, a little bit white. Yeah. Send this on its way. Seal this package into the space elevator. And then, just like this, pew, we're going to send it. Phase 2 completed. Now, watch this go. This has been a long way... Oh, a long time coming. Looks like we've got a complete phase three. We need to make some engines and then some weird ball. That's pretty cool. That's now shot off. Let's go run to the hub and see what we can unlock now. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I would, if I do say so myself. This roof looks cool. I'll probably redecorate the rest of it as well. So what have we unlocked technology-wise? What have we unlocked to learn technology-wise? So straight around to the hub. First is first. Let's change the colour. Beep. Gotta be nice red. And here we are. What have we got for us? So we got tier five and six here. So tier tier five, we've got oil extraction, refineries, valves, plastic, rubber, new shop products, fine. Crude oil, circuit boards, some petroleum coke and some fuel. Okay, that's quite interesting. Gas masks. Okay, that's pretty useful. That's probably the most useful part, but I think. Yeah, we need fabric and plastic and rubber, which we don't have yet. Alternative fluid transport it allows us to put fluids into these packers. We can then pack fuel, water or oil. Then we, I guess then we can transport it. Industrial manufacturing. So manufacturer requires four slockets to go in. So it's such a really big uh, one of the um, assemblers. You can get a 
truck, complex computers, that's pretty cool. Tier 6, let's have a look at tier 6. Logistics Mark 4. This is going to take us a while to get this, but that's when it wants us to get Catium Oil, that's cool. Uh, so we can get, that is almost double our resources per uh, minute. And a fuel generator consumes fuel to generate electricity, that's pretty useful. Jetpack is very good to have. Monorail, that would be cool to have as well. And finally, pipeline engineer, and we can upgrade our pipes. Pretty cool. So, starting tier 5, I guess I guess everything revolves around the oil processing. Everything requires us to have oil. So, let's have a look at this. So, we select this milestone. Uh, I think I already have most of the items here with me. Um, so, I'm going to quickly go grab the last of these items. And we'll be able to very quickly get oil processing done. And here we are. Uh, so we are finishing this off. All of these, make sure they're all in. Boom. Launch the pod itself. Kapowie. Oh, so I edited some of the stuff. So everything should now be coloured white. Which all looks pretty cool. And then all the main buildings should be red. Bye bye. Right. What can we build now? So we've got a new refinery. Oil extractor. So I can pump 120 per minute. Okay, so we want to build one oil extractor. Um, maybe. Might, we might want to build more, but as it stands, we'll just build one. We don't have a way of making power at the moment from it. That's fine. As uh, well as we learn. I think that's it. So that's fine. So we can now... Uh, can we... So I want to learn how to... Is it in the assembler? Or is it in the constructor? Do we learn anything we can build? Or do we or is it all in the refinery? So they're all done. Okay, nothing new there. And is there anything in the assembler? Da, 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 nothing new there. We've got a circuit board here, which requires copper and plastic. We don't have plastic yet. So I think it's all in this refinery. That's good to know. So let's make ourselves an oil extractor first. Let's see where nearest crude oil is. Hopefully it's not too far, but it might, might be miles. Okay, there's a lot of crude oil to the north. There's a lot of crude oil to the northeast as well. Okay, that's fine. This impure, 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 normal, impure, normal. This is temporary as well. Okay, so looks like that's all we've got to play with. That's fine. So we've got a normal rare over there. Impure, impure, normal. Okay, that's not ideal. So we've got two normals over on that direction there. So, ooh, let's ring this again. Crude oil. Uh, there was one temporary, two impures just here, wasn't there? Two impures, one temporary, and one normal. But we'll just go for the impures for the time being. So we need cables and some motors for it. So that's enough cables. And motors, you are just down here. Once again, these are slowly being built over time. Uh, motors, this one. So how many we've got? I've got a fair few motors. There we go. So we're going to make our way over. It's 300 meters this way. So we're going to make our way over there. Obviously, I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go all the way around. Apparently, you can get some form of parachute. But I don't seem to have one. Uh, but yep, we'll see you when we get there. So I've never been down here in these kind of... with well, this... We have a faunic looking area. Really cool fauna. I uh, did take out a spitter where it's like, was blue, which I've never seen before. Might just be me. I just, I just haven't played this in a while, but looks like. Oh, there's a power slug there. It's useful. There's some oil there. Can we just grab this power slug. Is anything going to stop me? Doesn't look like it. Yum, yum, yum. Right, that's one power slug. So I'm guessing this is the. There's one of the extractors. There's the other. So these are the two impures. That's fine. That's good to know. I'm expecting, I was expecting to see some enemy here. But I guess there's not. So what we want to build first is two oil extractors. Okay. So they're just literally going to pump out oil. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and we'll have oil extract over here. Get you guys to just look in roughly the same direction. Connect you guys onto power. 
I could probably upgrade this. There you go. I've got to upgrade this. This is probably going to be the central uh, node. How much is this producing in a minute? So this is producing 60 cubic meters a minute because it's impure. That's fine. Uh, so that means that this, we don't know how much this takes in. So what do you take in? So you can make... So you can make residual plastic. Fine. So you, you can make plastic by using crude oil. Okay. And then the byproduct will just be plastic and some of that pink stuff. Fine. So that's heavy oil residue. You can make rubber. You may also make heavy oil residual. What can you do with the residual? Okay, residual fuel you can then turn into fuel. Okay, that's good to know. So, really, we just want to make... We don't really want... Okay, you can turn petroleum... You can turn f the residual fuel into petroleum, which is interesting. Okay. And then you can then make fuel. And the outcome of that is polymer fuel, which allows you to make more here. Interesting. There's a lot to, there's a lot to take in here. Um, so I think, really, we should start by making rubber and plastic how many can it take so it takes 30 a minute so that could if it takes 30 a minute this produces 60 so we can make um so that's 120 altogether 120 so we can do one plastic one rubber or we do two plastic two rubber so this is exactly the same that's 30 as well so we can do four fineries one two three four and then what does it spit out? It spits out 20 heavy oil a minute. So 20 heavy oil a minute. How much does this take? It takes in 60. So we're going to produce 20, 40, 60. We're going to produce 80 a minute. So really, then we can turn this into fuel. So we need one of these up to... So we need one more for that one uh, to make fuel. And then we can then make a bunker, so we can bunker the fuel into one of these storage devices, fuel bunkers. We can make probably five of them. Um, yeah, and then the fuel will just go into there and it will just sit there until required. I think that works. So we now need to go and collect all of these items and we shall be back. We're going to have to probably find or we'll build like a... Oh, there's another power slug over there. Uh, we're probably going to have to build some form of building for it all as well but that's going to be a future me problem when we grab all the resources i can pick up lees pick up this slug we did want another power shard as well because that's going to have to be upgraded to the fuel let's go up there very angry guy right okay let's get this going and we have just finished our refinery so wow there we go there's the cute little badger oh i'm not finished not done the edges it's fine so we've got two oil extraction extractors going into one on each side this one on this side is going into here it's going to turn crude oil into rubber and heavy oil residue the other two over there are doing exactly the same but instead of rubber it's making plastic then the oil heavy oil residue will make its way through these pipes here into this one refinery here where it will turn everything from heavy oil residue into fuel it do 40 fuel a minute and that fuel will then just go straight out of here into these on the other side which is i've got three fuel buffers on the other side boom 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 three fuel buffers just there which will essentially just sit there and wait to be used because uh, as it stands i don't have a use for oil or for, as a fuel and these are just going to be on that conveyor belt waiting uh mainly because this isn't up and running you probably notice that nothing's pumping I had to remove the power because this is drawing too much power because obviously that is not connected to anything let's run over here look at my majestic factory flying in the air if i look at the usage it's very close to maxing out my energy production so i will need to upgrade my energy again for me to be able to effectively use this so that's going to be what we're going to work on between this episode and the next episode so we've been able to finish the next part of the space survey. We've unlocked the ability to 
um, essentially extract oil. We now use oil to make a few items, which we, these items will be transported back to the factory once this is all up and running. So we haven't got much more left to do. Well, okay, there is a lot left to do. However, oh no, I sold the wrong thing. But there's a lot left to do. However, um, we're slowly making it. Um, then here, obviously, we can obviously increase the size of this by putting in power um, shards. Just need to double check this is... So I originally put power shard in here, but this just uses 60 heavy residue a minute. So that's that's producing 20, that's producing 20. These both produce 10 each. So that's 20, 20. So that's 20, 40, 50, 60. So they all produce six, up to 60. This uses 60 a minute. So I don't need to worry. Uh, that Because that is something that will cause a, a blowback, as it, as it were. So it will essentially cause a blockage. If I can't use that uh, oil and it just sits there, and, they, and that will fill up these pipes here. Those pipes and these uh, refineries over there can't get rid of that oil. It's just sat in those pipes. And it, you essentially max it out. And you won't be able to do anything. Uh, those, all those refineries will stop working. So we obviously need to find a, a way of using it up. So it's going to go into these fuel uh, buffers. I can unlock in the... Sorry, I'm talking while I'm doing this. Um, I can unlock packaging. or pack, um, So I can package the fuel so then I can then send it ideally into the sink which I probably would be would be quite fond of doing so there's always a sink of fuel um, later on I will obviously use the fuel the thing about that I could by the time I end up using the fuel I, or by the time I end up packing the stuff I could use the fuel anyway so that, there's actually no point in me packing it all that's the refinery good to go it's the start of the refinery that is but it's all good to go. Look at that. That looks really good. So we're going to end the video here. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode on next Satisfyer X Factory Saturday. I won't be recording my addition to the power generation. There's no point. I'm just going to be going over uh, over here. Yes, over here. Uh, where I've already got coal. I've already got loads of water. I'm just going to put additional... Uh, power shards into um, the cold um, the extractors. So we've got a load of power shards here. Uh, we just put extra into the extractors, and then that should be enough uh, for me to get a few more power generators. So, yeah, we'll end it here. I keep babbling on. Uh, so we hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and peace. Oh, there's a rock, and peace out.